glasses. Um, the guy threw this card at me at the magic show and it's hearts, so I like it. So I'm gonna keep it. And it was cute, it's from Tropicana. Um, I'm from, or I live in LA. I'm in Vegas right now. Oh, thanks for the TikTok universe. Make sure to follow me. Um, and watch out for my TikTok. What the? Can't lose this. Cause, um, this bag's gonna age well, I think. I've also seen no one with this color. I think maybe because people are scared to buy it, but this is like my favorite color. I love color. Um, room key. Okay, she's empty. She's so cute. She's so cute, I don't regret it at all. At first I was like, do I get this? Everyone has this bag. I was gonna get the bigger Balenciaga bag in this color. And then I was like, oh, fuck this color, I want gray. And then I was like, you know what, no. This is an iconic bag, probably my favorite bag to come out this year. Um, and... Yeah, I don't regret it. I love the color. No, she's blocked on everything, obviously. You miss Justin Bieber? Yeah, I do. Guys, I don't think I look like Selena Gomez that much. Thank you, my boyfriend got me this dress. He actually does so good with presents. Like, he knows. He knows what I like. I get that I look like Kaya Gerber a lot now. I don't know what. Everyone's always like, oh, you look like this person, you look like this person. And I look at other people and I'm like, there's no one that looks like me. Maybe it's the body dysmorphia talking, but I don't know. I'm like, literally no one looks like me. You're the Louis Vuitton of Selena Gomez. Oh, thank you. She's so pretty. I love Selena. I'm gonna start videoing Vegas. It's just been kind of boring. Not boring. I've um, been hanging out with my dad. It's been so much fun, but like, I don't wanna record all that stuff. Are you Hispanic? Yes, I'm Hispanic. Guys, I'm just so hyped right now about this bag. <laughs> I actually love Vegas too. I want to stay here forever. It's so bougie, so glamorous, so my vibe. I love it. Guys, I look 12 in my fake ID. Literally, a bartender has told me, You look 12. Are your pearls real? Yeah, they are. Y'all wanna know how to tell if your pearls are real? I can't do it because it's on me right now. But if you rub the pearls against your teeth and they're smooth, they're fake. But if they're rough, they're real. Two bitch, you think you're really good with them. Y'all don't seem toxic. Yeah, we're not. It's definitely the easiest relationship I've ever been in and I wouldn't date anyone if they were toxic because I've been in like the worst of the worst toxic relationships and the thought of ever being in that again terrifies me. So I wouldn't date anyone unless they're like really good to me. What's wrong with your dress? Okay guys, I thought it was broken when I got it because I got it from Wasteland. It's originally from Zara, but I got it from Wasteland. And I thought it was broken, but I looked it up online and this is just how it goes. There's supposed to be two straps and then yeah, I don't know. Back muscle. Bro, I've been working out my back. I want to start doing a gym routine because I go to this really, like, not gonna lie, kind of elite gym in um, LA. Like, I literally work out next to Wiz Khalifa, and I'm like, I want to put y'all on to all the cool workouts that I do. Height check. I am 5'8". Back of the dress looks wild. Yeah. Pretty wild. Um, anyways, I'm going to do an unboxing TikTok of this bag in a sec. 
Make sure you go follow my Instagram. I'm really active on there. If you like me. Oh, wow, you're the same height as Selena Gomez, too. We're from the same city, too. We're born in the same city, and our birthday's two days apart, which is, like, really trippy to me. We're both cancers. Outfit check. I was wearing this dress, pearls, these glasses. No, it's not a ponytail. I have a claw clip, and I just look stupid with the claw clip. Um... And I was wearing my, like, Alexander McQueen sneakers and my new bag. Ask me questions. I'm literally bored in my hotel waiting for my boyfriend to get done with work. Is it true that you're trying to get with him and they're still together? No, I met my boyfriend at a casting, so I didn't know who he was. We met very organically. We didn't meet online. I met him at a casting. We were both um, we're both at the same modeling agency. How's the view? Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. This view is not it. I would show y'all, but there's really nothing to see. No, I think it's easier for people to um, validate their actions when they try and make somebody else look bad. But... Um, yeah, no, I met my boyfriend at a casting, he asked for my number, and then we hung out. That was it. It was cute. I actually love our story. Ew, what is that? Take it off. But thank you. Are you afraid of losing your boyfriend the same way you got him? I didn't steal him from anyone, so no. <laughs> I've honestly never met somebody so organically, which like makes me happy because I think it's no offense to anyone who's met their partner on like dating apps or whatever or like instagram but i don't know i just always wanted a cute story and i got it are you on tv not yet soon i met my girlfriend on fortnite not gonna lie it's pretty cool pretty acceptable better than like instagram I'm done talking about that. Just wanted to um, make that clear. Guys, how do people do this? I look so dumb with a claw clip. Why are you fidgeting with your dress? Cause it's falling. Do you think y'all will get married? Yeah. I'm tired of dating for like no reason. For what, emotional damage? No thanks.